And where are the national police and how do we add the force together so that there's a proper deployment of visible policing coupled with um, uh, 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 public order policing that can be deployed to such areas? Who, where are the other variables that we can put on the table? We need a plan and citizens need to hear on a consistent basis what action government is taking. Silence in this instance is not golden. It is, in fact, more damaging because citizens don't know. We want citizens to know what action their government is taking. And if they don't know that, then they can take the law into their own hands, which is the last situation we want. Let us be deliberate as a country now. We are facing a crisis. How much further do we want? So I'm calling for that committee to be able to do that, Moloto coordinate the efforts, communicate with citizens, and offer leadership so that our people know where they must go. I think I've covered all the questions I needed to cover. Just a final one. I no, mean, no, no, no. Olina Red South African, who is really worried about, particularly about this homicide, uh, mm. what practical um, duty do you think they have in this case, seeing that the authorities seem to be clueless. Yeah, look, we, we'd raise this issue about uh, the sexual violence, the sexual offences courts. I'm calling upon all citizens together because much of this often occurs in communities. People know who are the people who are committing such crimes. And therefore, we must be in partnership with police to make sure we report the crimes. We give, through NGO societies, the appropriate support for victims of crime and sexual abuse and I'm saying as men I think uh, the mayor of Midval puts it well as a husband as a father as a man in the society I must stand up to other men and tell them it starts with the in fact denigration of women it starts with the comments that people make around prize and speaking about women in that manner it continues in how we allow our young girls to drop out of school for different reasons because we cannot even be bothered to give the adequate sanitation uh, and the adequate sanitary towels for our girls to stay through school. And more seriously, it continues in homes where ultimately there are other factors that come into play where men don't stand up, don't actually make sure. We must stand up as men, and if a man stands up in any context, whether it's a bri or whether it's whatever, I must be the first one to say, Moran, you are not going to speak to your wife, to your sister, to your mother in that manner, and more seriously, you are going to give dignity to where dignity belongs. Because if you fail to do that as men, and we fail to hold one another accountable, these monsters are going to appear more and more in our society, and we must work collectively with women to make sure that as a society we restore our dignity collectively. Because there's something worrying when you watch on television and you think to yourself, these scenes and what is happening here is not helping the consciousness of our society in the way we must behave. Therefore, it requires all of us to stand up and as citizens, we must go report these crimes. So these monsters, and I'm simply saying these monsters must end up in jail. That's the action we must take. Thank you, Thank you very much, ladies and gents.